Coming to the next problem, uh, which of the following statements are true? Shortest remaining time first scheduling may cause starvation or preemptive scheduling may cause starvation. Round robin is better than FCFS, first come first serve in terms of response time. And then we have to choose the correct choice, okay? So, uh, shortest remaining time first, okay? So which which uh, scheduling is this okay you have all these processes with their remaining times and when a process executes its time time keeps on decreasing okay so so can it cause starvation starvation means that there is some process that never gets to uh, run in cpu okay so it's it's never given to the cpu or the cpu is never given to that process yeah. so that's starvation okay so can you have starvation in this case so think about this thing okay think about a situation when you have uh, many processes and there is some process let's say some process pi which has a very long cpu time okay so it needs a very long cpu burst and what happens is that all these processes keeps on coming that have very short cpu uh, uh, burst time okay CPU burst all other processes have short CPU burst so think about this case and so what will happen in this case so this is processes my writing is bad so all these other processes they have very short CPU burst so this long process will never get the CPU because the priority will be given to these processes with short CPU bus and they'll they'll keep on coming suppose they keep on coming and this this process this PI never gets the CPU so this process will starve that's starvation okay this process never get to uh, run on CPU it's always waiting or in the in the queue uh, not waiting it's in the queue so yeah that's this is true this thing is true definitely and preemptive scheduling may cause starvation is this thing true what about this second thing uh, so in this second thing what happens in preemptive scheduling is that if a process is running some process may come and preempt that process preempt means that it can kick out that process and it starts itself running so Suppose P1 is running in CPU and what happens is P2 comes. P2 says, okay, kick out. P2 kicks this process out and runs itself on the CPU. So that's preempt preemption. So in preemptive scheduling, you can definitely have starvation. Think, think about priorities, okay? Think about priorities. So if, suppose there is a process that has a very low priority, okay? And all these other processes have higher priorities so what will happen is these process will come and keep taking the CPUs but this process that has low priority that will never get the CPU okay so low priority process will star in, in those cases okay in, in preemptive scheduling cases so yeah so this thing is true as well and you know that this is true and what about this third thing round robin is better than first come first serve in terms of response time so after there are three things so round robin what happens in round robin you have these many processes and you give them chunks of time okay so you say okay the first process will run for two seconds okay and then the next process will run for two seconds and the third process will run for two seconds and so on and once all these processes have run for two seconds then the first process can come in again start running for two seconds that's round robin you give them two seconds two 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 seconds to all of them and you repeat this cycle again and again this is round robin and first come first serve you know the process that comes first uh, that will take the cpu and gets completed and only then the second process will be allowed to run that is first come first serve it's, it's like in your daily life when you see first come first serve and then you have something called response time. So what is response time? So response time is the time when uh, when the process starts giving some response, okay? That means that when the process gets the CPU, okay? 
So round robin is better or not? That's what we have to answer. And it turns out that RR is better. Round robin is better because if you give small small time chunks to these processes, let's say, let's say you have three processes. Okay, uh, a process needs ten CPU time units. The other process needs twenty CPU times units, and the third process needs thirty CPU time units. Okay. And in, in suppose you have round robin and in round robin you give a time chunk of one seconds. Okay, this time quantum slice of one seconds. Okay, the first one will run for one second and then the second one and the third one. So in that case the response time will be better because after one second the second will be allowed to run and after another one second the third will be allowed to run. So the first this will respond after one second and this will respond after two seconds. But in case of first come first serve, for first ten seconds only this process will be running okay the response the first response from this process will come after two, 10 seconds okay and the first response from this process will come after 10 plus 20 that is 30 seconds so it's a lot of time so that means round robin is better in terms of response time you get you get early responses from all your processes in round robin and this is true as well which means all of these are true and that is option d